Every year, approximately 15 million people suffer from a stroke. Stroke is a leading cause of mortality globally. Stroke does not discriminate. It can happen any time, any place, any age. Nobody can warn you if or when it's going to happen. Strokes occur unexpectedly and without warning when a blood vessel in the brain is blocked or ruptured and the surrounding tissue is deprived of oxygen. Ischemic strokes, which account for approximately 85% of the 15 million strokes suffered worldwide each year, are typically the result of a clot in a blood vessel which blocks normal blood flow and thus oxygen to surrounding brain tissue. In an ischemic stroke, the centre of the brain injury around the clot is called the necrotic core and the larger surrounding brain injury is characterised as the penumbra. The necrotic core is brain tissue beyond rescue, whereas the penumbra is the part of the brain deprived of oxygen but is still salvageable if immediate therapy is administered to the stroke patient. Current arterial ischemic stroke treatments focus on chemically dissolving or physically removing clots to restore blood flow and thus oxygen to the penumbra tissue, rescuing most of the health and functionality of the brain. However, only a small percentage of the ischemic stroke population is treated with either of these interventions. This is because there's an extremely small time window of only a few hours after stroke onset in which these therapies are deemed beneficial to help a patient. Administration after this time would most likely worsen the stroke. Furthermore, physical removal of a clot is only suitable for patients whose blockage are found in one of the brain's few large blood vessels. In fact, in Europe alone, over 85% of arterial ischemic stroke patients presenting to hospitals are ineligible for the mainstay treatments. This means that even if patients are able to seek prompt medical attention, the majority of ischemic stroke patients lack an effective therapy and risk permanent disability and mortality, leading to a substantial health and economic burden on society as a result of stroke. In 2020, Clinuvel announced a world-first clinical program to evaluate its drug in patients diagnosed with an acute arterial ischemic stroke. This is a novel application of Clinuvel's technology, with the program focusing on a group of stroke patients who are ineligible for existing standard therapies. Over half of all ischemic strokes are caused by a blockage in one of the brain's main arteries, the middle cerebral artery, or MCA. There are four segments of the MCA in which clots may obstruct, referred to as M1 through M4. A clot in any one of these segments of the MCA will lead to brain damage and will impair a patient's ability to function. Research has shown that melanocortin therapies, including Clinuvel's drug, may have a positive effect on the central nervous and vascular systems. Clinuvel's drug is recognised as having four distinct effects which may offer therapeutic benefit in ischemic stroke. One, dilation of blood vessels. Two, reduction of fluid around the ischemic injury. Three, neuroprotection. Four, protection of the blood-brain barrier. The drug is expected to target oxygen-deprived brain tissue in order to salvage it from permanent damage and cell death. Clinuvel is initially focusing on evaluating the safety and efficacy of afamilanotide in stroke patients with the greatest unmet medical need. Those with clots located in the upper M1, the M2, M3 and M4 regions, where current standard therapies are not or cannot be used safely or effectively. For more information on Clinuvel's stroke program, go to clinuvel.com.